I love photography. There are many reasons for this, and lately I've been thinking a lot about one in particular. What happens when a camera smushes a four-dimensional world of height, width, depth, and time into a two-dimensional image? Height and width, of course, map just fine to a flat surface, but what about depth and time? Visual clues such as converging lines, overlapping objects, and changes in size can preserve a sense of depth, but time usually just disappears. Sometimes, as in this photo, we get to see all four dimensions. The day before the annual Head of the Charles Regatta in Boston, I was standing on a bridge over the Charles River, watching the sculling crews pass below me. The sun was setting, the water was sparkling, and I noticed the backlit wake from the boat and the oars. I really liked the patterns and contrasts created by the straight lines and the concentric circles. Then it dawned on me that the diverging lines and dissipating circles in this snapshot were capturing a visual echo of both depth and time. How cool is that? Although painters developed techniques centuries ago to create the illusion of depth, the images almost always seemed frozen in time. The most notable exceptions, for example, Marcel Duchamp's marvelous New Descending a Staircase No. 2, were created after time started appearing in photographs, like Edward Moobridge's groundbreaking series Horse in Motion. The extraordinary ability to project both 3D space and time onto a flat surface is definitely one of the many reasons I love photography.